This video will cover difficult questions regarding the topic of arithmetic sequence. This is the first question. A, B, and C are the successive terms in an arithmetic sequence. The difference between two terms are the same. So B minus A equals C minus B. Then 2B equals A plus C. 2C minus B over 2 minus 8A are also consecutive terms in an arithmetic sequence. The difference between two terms are the same. Then minus B over 2 minus 2C equals minus 8A minus minus B over 2. Then minus B over 2 minus 2C equals minus 8A make positive plus b over 2 then minus b equals minus 8a plus 2c the first one times 2 equals 2a plus 2c equals 4b then second one minus 8a plus 2c equals minus b then subtract cancel it 10a equals 5b, then divide by 5 on each side, b equals 2a, then put in here, 2b equals a plus c, then 2 times b is 2a equals a plus c, then 4a equals a plus c, then c equals 3a. The value of b plus c over a equals b is 2a plus c is 3a over a equals 5a over a which is 5. Number 2, let the three numbers be a, a plus d, then a plus 2d. Then a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d equals 21. Then 3a plus 3d equals 21. Divide by 3 on each side. Then a plus d equals 7. The sum of their squares is 179. Then a squared plus a plus d squared plus a plus 2d squared equals 179. Then expand a squared plus a squared plus 2ad plus d squared plus a squared plus 4ad plus 4d squared equals 179. Then add them together. 3a squared plus 6ad plus 5d squared equals 179. Now we can rewrite as d as 7 minus a, then print here. So 3a squared plus 6ad is 7 minus a, plus 5d equals 7 minus a squared equals 179. Then 3a squared plus 42a minus 6a squared plus 5 times 49 minus 14a plus a squared equals 179. And then these two make minus 3a squared plus 42a plus the first one. 245 minus 70a plus 5a squared equal 179. Then these two make 2a squared minus these two make 28a. Then 245 minus 179 make 66 equals 0. Then divide by 2 on each side. a squared minus 14a plus 33 equals 0. Then you can factor 
a minus 3 times a minus 11 equals 0. Then a equals 3 or 11. The first, if a equals 3, use this one, then d equals 4. The number is 3, 7, and 11. Number 2, if a equals 11, then d equals minus 4. The three numbers are 11, 7, and 3. Therefore, the numbers are 3, 7, and 11. Number 2 again. We have solved the problem, but it's actually a long and difficult way. We should have done it differently from the beginning. Let the three numbers be a, a plus d, and a minus d. Then a minus d plus a plus a plus d, the sum of three consecutive numbers is 21, then minus d plus d, that means 3a equals 21. a equals 7. Now, three numbers are 7 minus d, 7 and 7 plus d. So 7 minus d squared plus 7 squared plus 7 plus d squared equals 179. Then expand 49 minus 14d plus d squared plus 49 plus 49 plus 14d plus d squared equals 179, then minus 14d plus 14d, then add them together, 2d squared plus 3 of 49 equals 147, then 179, 2d squared equals 32, then d squared equals 16, that means d equals 4 and minus 4. Number 1, if d equals 4, use this one. 7 minus d is 3, then 7, then 11. Number 2, if d equals minus 4, then 11, 7, 3. Therefore, the three numbers are 3, 7, 11. Number 3, let the numbers be a, a plus d, a minus d, a plus 2d, and a minus 2d. Then a minus 2d plus a minus d plus a plus a minus d plus a plus 2d equals 5. Then minus 2d plus 2d minus d plus d, then 5a equals 5. Therefore, a equals 1. The product of first, third, and fifth term is minus 63. Then a minus 2d times a times a plus 2d equals minus 63. Then put 1 into a. Then 1 minus 2d times 1 times 1 plus 2d equals negative 63. 1 minus 2d times 1 plus 2d equals negative 63. Then 1 minus 4d squared equals negative 63. Then minus 4d squared equals minus 64. Then divide by minus 4 on each side. d squared equals 16. Then d equals plus minus 4. The first one a equals 1 and d equals 4. Then the numbers are minus 7, minus 3, 1, 5, 9. The second one, if a equals 1, then d equals minus 4. Then the numbers are 9, 5, 1, minus 3, and minus 7. Therefore, the numbers are minus 7, minus 3, 1, 5, 9. Number 4, the third term is P, then T3 equals P, 
T3 means A plus 2D equals P. And P term is Q. Then T5 equals Q. A plus 4D equals Q. With this one, A plus 4D equals Q. A plus 2D equals P. Then subtract cancel. 2D equals Q minus P. Then D equals Q minus P over 2. Then D plug in here. A plus 2D, which is Q minus P over 2, equals P. Then A plus cancelled. Q minus P equals P. Then A equals 2P minus Q. The general term is A plus N minus 1D. Then T15 equals A is 2P minus Q plus N minus 1, which is 14 times D. Q minus P over 2 is 2P minus Q plus cancel, then 7, 7 Q minus 7 P equals minus 5 P plus 6 Q. Therefore, T15 equals minus 5P plus 6Q. Number 5, the first term, minus 5P plus 7Q equals A. T is term 2 minus term 1, which is minus 3P plus 4Q minus minus 5P plus 7Q is minus 3p plus 4q, then plus 5p minus 7q equals 2p minus 3q. Then term 12 is a plus 11d, then a is minus 5p plus 7q plus 11 times D is 2P minus 3Q equals minus 5P plus 7Q plus 22P minus 33Q. The answer is 17P minus 26Q. The general term Tn is A plus N minus 1 times D equals minus 5p plus 7q plus n minus 1 times d, which is 2p minus 3q, equals minus 5p plus 7q plus 2np minus 3nq minus 2p plus 3q. Then term of p is this one, minus 7 plus 2n p, then plus, think about the term of q, 7 plus 3 is 10, minus 3n q. This is the last question. General term Tn is A plus N minus 1D. Then Tx equals A plus X minus 1D is Y cubed. Then A equals Y cubed minus X minus 1D. And Ty equals A plus Y minus 1D equals x cubed, then a equals x cubed minus y minus 1d. Then a is a, so x cubed minus y minus 1d equals y cubed minus x minus 1d, then x cubed, move y cubed to the left, is minus y cubed equals 
y minus 1d minus x minus 1d. We can factor x minus y, x squared plus xy plus y squared equals. We can take out d, which is common factor, then y minus 1 minus x minus 1. Then x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared equals d. Then expand y minus 1 minus x plus 1. It's cancelled. Then x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared equals d times y minus x. Then x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared equals d times y minus x equals, we can rewrite as minus x minus y, then minus x minus y, then cancelled, then x squared plus xy plus y squared equals minus d, and the common difference d equals minus x squared plus xy plus y squared. I hope this video has been helpful. This is the last of three videos covering arithmetic sequence. Previous lessons are linked in the description bar below. If you have any questions, please leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.